Hi, my name is Dr. Soren Estfold. I'm from Medical College of Georgia Family Medicine Department. Hi, my name is Priscilla Begal. I'm a fourth year medical student. Thank you for coming to our presentation on LGBTQ medicine, where we created a care guide for, LGBT, for our healthcare professionals. So this is the poster that we've made as a guide for the healthcare professionals. It's LGBT plus. Does anyone know what LGBTQIAA stands for? It stands for lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, intersex, asexual, and allies. You can also add two S onto that for two spirit, which is another part, one of the gender subgroups. And I'm pretty sure most of you didn't know what that stood for, um, but the very common LGBT stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and plus stands for everyone else. Now we broke this down into these main subgroups because healthcare can be tailored to each of these subgroups and their needs. For example, lesbians are over 200% more likely to use tobacco, whereas in the bisexual population, they're at a much greater risk for depression. And within the subgroups also, we've created clinical pearls on the side, or just fun facts too that are really helpful for healthcare providers as well, such as the different pronouns that they use, um, as far as also allowing patients to know that you understand the community and um, are okay with treating them to give clues such as rainbow flags or colorful things into the window of your practice. Um, and then also important dates that are pretty important for the community as well. Along with the health disparities in each group, we also included screenings that you can draw labs for, for each of the different groups, such as lipid panels, um, HIV screenings, GC, gonorrhea, and chlamydia, pap smears, stuff like that. And then also, we've also provided a small little snippet of if a patient comes in and they are on hormone replacement therapy or would like to be on hormone replacement therapy, there's a guide on how to use it, how to uh, prescribe it, along with prep for those who um, are at high risk. And that's super important. If you're a provider and you feel like your patient needs prep but you don't know how to prescribe it, there is a little snippet about it here so that you can provide better care for your patient. Um, we also thought it was really important to include other resources for right. patients and providers. So we included the trevorproject.org, which is a national website that gives out more resources where you can send patients or providers to. We also included the Gay Lesbian Medical Association.org um, as well at the bottom of our poster. And actually you can find Dr. Asphalt on there and he covers the Southeast. Um, region. Lastly, we decided to add a QR code into the corner of our poster. The QR code links to a badge hang tag that Priscilla and I both created, and you can see we're wearing here. Um, the hang tag itself kind of functions as a miniature poster guide here. It has the pride flag on one side and the transgender flag on the other, so that if you have one of these patients in front of you and you panic, you can just quickly reference it and provide them better care. But not only that, Look how it pokes out here for him. It also shows and gives a clue for patients that are um, part of this population that this actual physician or healthcare provider will be more than competent to take care of them and they won't have to feel like they have to hide or um, keep certain information from them. And it's just a great way to just open the doors and let patients feel a lot more comfortable. The badge itself creates a mini safe space mm -hmm. on an individual level. And that was something we thought was really key. Absolutely. Well, thank you for coming to our presentation. If thank you have you. any questions, we can be reached at sestvold at augusta.edu. And we have lots of posters if you're interested in them. And hopefully we can provide one to your clinic space. Thank, Thank you. you.